Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So this video I'm going to be talking about my experience of being married for eight years and yeah so I just want to do this disclaimer before I start this video. I want to say because I see this a lot of times and right now we are in the culture of everybody having dating advice, marriage advice, relationship advice. Okay, but this is the thing that I need people to realize. When you hear someone say anything about their experience or their marriage experience, people be so quick to say, oh, mine is not like that. We're not saying that yours is like that, okay? And we're not saying like some of us, because I'm just only going to speak on my experience. From my experience, my marriage was not something that I would say, oh, oh, it was horrible. Oh, it was so horrible. No, I'm not saying that my marriage was horrible. So let me break down what really happened, okay? Let me just take y'all down memory lane. Back in 2014, when I met my husband, okay, me and him had just met each other. Everything was going good. Everything was fine. Yes, we got married seven months after we met each other. I met him in March, we was married by November, the same year, 2014. Okay, yes, it was rushed, it was quick. Yes, I was 26, he was 24. But in that time that I met him, it was not how we end up at the end. At the beginning, in seven years prior, like after that, it was, it was good. Okay, my husband pulled out the red carpet when I met him. I mean, he was buying me McFlurries when I want to. I know that's not, that's not a good, I know, but that's, that was way to my heart. He would buy me McFlurries. He would do anything I want. I would do for him too. I ain't just saying it was one-sided, but he was very consistent to show me that he wanted me. He was very consistent to keep asking me to marry him. He was very consistent. He bought a promise ring. The engagement ring, all this other stuff, the proposals, all this other stuff. Now, just because it ended up like this, my beginning was not like my ending. Okay? Okay. Now, I do recognize that things change, people change. And that's one thing that I've been telling myself, that everything is not going to always be the same every day by day every year by year every month by month things change people change atmosphere change the world change as we can see okay so my thing is all the advice and i keep saying this i even said it earlier today on a post all the advice cannot prepare you for a marriage okay it cannot prepare you for a marriage this is the thing. People think, oh, it changed just because you get a paper and you're married. No, it's the same concept as if y'all were still in a relationship and not married. I don't know why people keep trying to separate it. I guess because people say it's the Bible and it's holy, it's the Lord that's condemning the marriage. But it's the same thing. If I'm with you 24-7 and we're with each other 24-7, we're going to have the same problems that a married person going to have. The only difference is there's no share anything. I don't have your last name. Blase say squad say because it is people that's in a relationship right now that has not gotten married that has been together for nine eight years and it's just like a marriage but people discredit it because it's not a marriage but anyway it's the same concept relationship life in general is a concept my thing is i appreciated my marriage i don't like get mad about it you know i'm hurt that it happened like that but it is what it is life is life and that's what i'm learning okay life is life now am i saying that you deal with somebody and get married to them even though they cheating before y'all got married no that's not what i'm saying because like i said my marriage is not like that my marriage there was no hell we didn't have no time to have no red flags because we got married so god dang on quick so anyway but I wanted to make this video 
and I hope that y'all comment down below what you think and some other things that y'all want to talk about because I know that there's a lot of advice and a lot of people making videos about marriage and relationships right now and it seems overwhelming it's a lot okay y'all are making this a little bit difficult okay y'all making it more difficult than it has to be okay I understand that sometimes everything don't last forever but I know that when I'm with that person I am committed to that person now if things go the other way around it's out of my control and I can't get mad so I'm not in no bitter state I'm not saying that marriage is not the thing I'm not saying that I don't believe in love I do I mean to each his own um unfortunately the way that life is right now because there are some people that's really out to get with someone for financial gain there is someone out there that's with someone because of their status of how they look or what they think they're going to get and benefits of being with that person so i know and that's why i say life is a gamble marriage relationships anything you do is a is a gamble because we don't know these people pure intentions only their actions and what they are showing you okay so i can't honestly sit here and say that my husband never really really loved me okay i can't really say that because his actions showed different the years that we were together okay but what i will say is that life do change people i feel like i took accountability for a lot of my mistakes and it's a lot of things that i need to check off on my list that i was complaining about about a man about relationships and everything because as i grew i started noticing like crystal you want a man to be consistent but are you consistent i can't even be consistent on making a video i can't even be consistent on doing a goal I can't even be consistent on anything so how do i expect my husband or the man that i'm with to be consistent if i'm not showing up for myself that's something i had to realize you know what i'm saying like we can't expect something if we're not doing it as well and i know i done heard that a lot of times and i it took me a while to understand where that come from and what they mean by that but now that i've been through it and i understand it now consistency that is number one so i'm gonna go over consistency consistent okay being consistent if you're not if you are the person that you know you can't be consistent okay because i feel like that played a part of my marriage i feel like my husband was consistent at the beginning to get me and i was consistent at the beginning to get him but towards the middle ground or towards that we both wasn't consistent no more i lack consistency because i feel like well he doing da -da 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 com so i'm not gonna do da -da 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 com because i'm mad and really i should have been consistent as well i don't know i just feel like consistency is key that's one two two okay because i said i was gonna do a countdown y'all i'm trying to not ramble two i would say communication and comprehension i'm gonna say it again communication and comprehension okay now some of us had an iep when we was growing up okay and some of us can't really comprehend certain things that others say I noticed that when there would be times when we would come like communicate with each other the words that I would use or the choice of words that I would use it was a um, it was a misunderstanding of what I was saying and it was not clicking sometimes but it's not their fault or it's not my fault if it's not clicking with me so comprehending each other and understanding each other I think that is number one as well but I'm gonna put in number two but learning to communicate and understand because you could communicate all day but if that person is not comprehending what you putting out they're not gonna pick it up okay that's number two 
Number three, knowing your person, knowing who you are with. I had to learn that too. I knew the type of man that I married. I knew what my husband was capable of doing because I heard the stories. But that was once we got married. So I knew what he was capable of doing. Just listen to his past, okay? Person tells you that their last relationships prior to you, that they was a cheater, okay? Cheat, 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 cheat. Believe them. Because nine times out of 10, okay, or sometimes it's 10, 10, they are going to cheat on you too, okay? Just because they did it to the other person and the other person before that, and, da, 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 and you think, oh, you just so special. They ain't gonna cheat on me. They done got used to it, okay? It's embedded in them, okay? It is what it is. So some people just ain't gonna change that. Some people like the thrill of it, of cheating and getting caught. Me personally, I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Um, physical cheating, I always, oh, that's another thing I wanna touch on. I always thought that there was a difference between physical cheating and just talking to somebody and not really physically touching them. That's where I made a mistake at. Now, in my marriage, I never physically touched anyone else. Now, talking to somebody else, like inboxing, phone conversation, okay, yes, I have done that. But, it was because I felt my husband was doing it. So, why I can't have friends? You know what I'm saying? We talked about it and I'm like, okay, you done did it. You got friends. Why well, I can't have friends? Boom. Okay. So, number, I think we're on number four or five, y'all. I don't know. Let me see. I'm just talking. I'm just trying to get this out, okay? Um, The next one I would say, if that person sees you as competition, because some sometimes... I'm noticing that a partner or a spouse or relationship, whatever, that person can be jealous of you. That person can be envious of you. Even though you think that y'all are together, they could secretly have some animosity about what you are doing and what they're not doing. Okay, they can feel like they are lacking what you are getting. So they could still put you in that category to see, oh, even though we're together, but I see you gaining, but what about me? You leaving me behind. And that could go for men and women. And just like the video, a Shanti video, she had a video and the man was so mad. It was Lorenz Tate that played in the video well. And Rain On Me, there you go. That's the song, Rain On Me by Shanti. Lorenz Tate was so, Ooh, he was so jealous and envious. Like, he didn't even want to walk with her. He let her hand go. Like, he was so upset that it wasn't about him. And sometimes people can, they're not. They're not going to be able to distinguish you and their feelings for your accomplishments. Even though y'all are together. Even though y'all laying down together. That man or that woman may feel like, oh, if they get better than me, they gonna leave me behind. And people have been making videos to kind of tell them that, yes, you are correct. Because they call that placeholding. Okay, so you do have people that that use that and fuel their insecurities in your relationship to think, I gotta hold on to you because if you get too high and mighty, you gonna leave me for somebody else. Okay? In a perfect world, we wanna say, Work on yourself before you get in a relationship. Work on yourself before you... I don't care how many speeches. We can keep motivating each other to do that because that is a good idea. I chose to be by myself, not entertaining too many people because I really want to keep my mind from being cluttered, you know? But if people realize that we all have we all have the feelings okay we still are human even in a relationship okay we still are human 
the one thing that I'm now, I'm making my list over, okay? Because I don't know if I'm going to get in a relationship again, y'all. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I'm not even worried about it, okay? But my new list of expectations for myself and that person, because I'm not going to take me out of it like I did before. But my new goal is to say, I want to make sure that this person know themselves. They are okay with themselves. They are confident with themselves. Because at the end of the day, looking for someone else to make you happy or to satisfy you, you will never be happy. And you'll never be satisfied. That's just point blank period, okay? All we can do is motivate each other, be there for each other, but I cannot make you happy. And you can't make me happy. You can make me feel good, but you can't make my life do good. If I'm depressed because I had a long dream ever since I was a kid, and I never got to pursue that dream, and now I'm an older person. I see everybody else doing that dream. And I got to go to work, take care of these kids, got this husband or this wife, and I'm miserable because I did not fulfill my dream. Again, I'm going to say my dream. Not my wife, not my kids, but my dream. I'm mad at my family, I'm mad at myself, and I'm mad at the world because I feel like I wasted my life away. And even though I say I love my marriage life, but in the back of my mind, what truly makes me happy, if I did not succeed, like if I did not go after that, nothing else is going to make me happy. That's what I'm learning. So I'm starting to think that that's another thing that people need to understand. We, it's easy for the, us to get in these relationships and think that it's going to make us happy because we get these dopamines from being on social media. We see everybody proposing, everybody happy, everybody flossing, everybody got money, everybody relationships perfect, everybody marriage is happy. And now we start to think that we need to be the same exact way, keeping up with the Joneses. You are not everybody else, okay? That's one thing and I was kind of happy that I kind of always mimic my life on. I don't base my life on everybody else. I base my life on me, okay? I don't put nobody on a pedestal, okay? I look at you. I'm not going to put you above me and I'm not going to put me beneath you, okay? Because we are the same. We are here, okay? Because this is exactly what happened. All the time we disappoint ourselves all the time because we expect a lot we expect a lot everybody want to be happy everybody want to be in love the happy and the love is fine but that human interaction is still going to be in that marriage so that was just a little quick little ramble vent that I want to do if y'all stuck around make sure you comment below what else you want to talk about some points you want to touch on from this video comment below um like the video so i can know that you like it subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button or whatever but um i want to thank y'all for coming um, and thank you for watching my video. Until next time. Bye. Doodles.